If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace. God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good guys morning to you. Good guys morning to you. Pray all is well with you on this beautiful Wednesday. That's right, Wednesday. Another day the Lord has made and we will, we shall. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Good guys morning to you. Good guys morning. Good morning, Sister Perry. Good morning. Good guys morning to you. And y'all come on in. Say hello to me so I can speak to you. Amen. Don't want to be rude and miss anyone. So just say hello to me, okay? Good guys morning to you. Let us get our scripture for this fine Wednesday morning. Scripture is going to be coming from James. James chapter 3, verse 10. James chapter 3, verse 10. And it says, out of the mouth, out of the same mouth. Good God Almighty, come praise and cursing. Mm. My brothers, this shouldn't be out of the same mouth. Come praise and cursing. My brothers, this shouldn't be. Let me say it again. Out of the same mouth, come praise and cursing. My brothers, this should not be. Ooh, we. Oh, the Lord getting on some people's today. I mean, this week. What's going on? What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Good morning, Lady Carrie. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Listen, he says him that out of the same mouth come praise and curses. Y'all, out of that same mouth, it's like you got... Let me ask you this. Would you eat out the trash? I ain't think so. I hope you said no. No, I don't think so, right? Would you put filth in your mouth? No, I don't think so. So why are we distributing <laughs> filth? And Bible says cursing. Why? Why are we doing that? Listen, beloved. It, it the Bible says life and death. Y'all have heard this before. Life and death. Uh, it lies in the power of the mouth. I don't necessarily believe that when he says this, when James talks about you know blessings and, and cursing, I don't believe like he's talking about the curse words. I don't curse. You know, I I just believe that that's not a part of you know, what God has, has given, you know, to me, that's not my portion. I don't curse, you know, I don't, I don't say curse words, you know, I just don't, I don't, I don't think, you know, I just, I just don't, you know, I, I've never, I've tried, let me tell you, I've tried to cuss, okay? And it just sounded like, ah, ah. <laughs> I mean, serious, I try to, you know, fit in with the crowd, you know what I'm saying? My boys, man, you know, military, you know, you fit in with the crowd. And no, nope. it didn't even sound right. I was like, nah, I'm just going to continue to say and do what I've been doing if that is not right. But I believe that in this text that James is talking about the cursings that we speak out out our mouths like, you know, we tell our children sometimes, you know, some parents, I've heard this before, they tell their children, you know, you you ain't going to be nothing, you know, you 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 just like your daddy, you know, because the daddy is no good or whatever they want to call it. Or, you know, you make me sick or, you know, I hate you or, you know, just things like that. Or, or we sabotage ourselves, we curse ourselves when we say, you know, stuff like, 
you know, I, I'm, I'm, oh, I, I'm, I just, I'm never going to get this, or I'm never going to do that, or I'm, I'm not going to pass, or I'm, you know, I'm never going to get the job, or, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm never going to, you know, we, we say things like that, and, and that is the cursing that I believe that James is talking about, because the Bible says the power of life and death lies in your tongue, and so if you've got the power to give life, you also have the power to give death. And so, beloved, we have to be careful what we say, how we use our mouths to speak into the atmosphere. Because I've told you before, God, every time we speak into the atmosphere, there are angels that are just waiting to pick up what we say and go and make it happen. There are angels because the Bible says that God's word will not return back to him void, but it will accomplish the very thing that is sent out to do. And so there, a God's word is being sent out and it's being accomplished and it's going to do, it's going to come back to you, whatever you put into the atmosphere. This is why you got to understand this now, because whatever you put in the atmosphere, it is not going to return to you void. So if you put blessings or if you put curses out there, it is not going to return back to you void because the word of God is not going to come back for it, but it's going to accomplish the very thing that it is set out to do. So therefore, you have to be mindful. You have to be careful what you put out into the atmosphere. I don't care if you mumbled on it, if you said it silently, if you just, just even those thoughts because your thoughts become your words. You have to be careful, beloved, what you put out there because the angels are hearing you and they're picking it up and they're going to perform it blessings and cursing speak good as my mama said you ain't got nothing good to say don't say nothing at all ask god lord give me something good to say because i ain't got i'm thinking i'm not thinking good right now i'm not thinking good right now oh give me something good to say help me lord so i believe that james is talking about blessings and the cursings that we put out in the atmosphere not so much as the curse words but the curses you know those little, little things that we say that we got to be more mindful of we got to take more more um be more cautious and be more careful with we've got to be careful with these things because we're saying these things and we're not realizing that that the angels are going to perform it those he says those two things shouldn't come out the believer's mouth yeah, you shouldn't be speaking blessings. Oh, God's going to bless me. And then the next moment you're saying, oh, I don't, oh, I'm not never going to get this. I'm not never going to get, oh, cool. oh well, uh, guess what? You ain't never going to get it because that's what you said. Hmm? Come on, beloved. Speak into the atmosphere. You shall have what you declare and what you decree. Declaring and decreeing is what you're saying into the atmosphere. It ain't got to be these 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 affirmations we want to say every day because a lot of y'all are contradicting yourselves. We even with the a affirmations, you wake up in the morning and you speak all these affirmations, but then throughout the day you're, you're saying cursings ab 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 upon yourself. Come on now. Get it right. Let's 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 get this our language together. Let's get our spiritual language. Let's speak our spiritual language. Let's get it together. Let's stop blessing ourselves and then turn around cursing ourselves. Be more careful. You got to be more careful with the words that are coming out your mouth. Okay, the words that you're speaking towards yourself and the words that you're speaking towards other people. Be more careful. All right. If you ain't got nothing good to say, take the advice. Don't say nothing at all. Those are things that we we would say. The sticks and stones may break my bones, but words would never hurt me. That is a lie. Words do hurt. Words do effect. Okay. Words do bring life. Words do bring death. So let's be mindful of the words that we speak. Let's be mindful of the words that we say, okay? Whether it's about ourselves or it's concerning other people, especially our children. Be more careful. All right, let's pray. Father, we thank you, God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you today for this word that came from John to remind us, us, us that blessings and cursing does, should not come out the same mouth. Brothers and my sisters, this shouldn't be. God, help us to be more careful. Help us to be 
be be better. Help us to be, be, be greater. Help us, Lord, to be mindful of the words that we say, to understand that, that blessings and curse, that power and life is in our tongue. So let, help us, Lord, to be mindful of it today. Help us to be conscious of it and to speak those things into the atmosphere only of which we want to be spoken out into. God, we thank you. We bless you. We give you praise, glory, and honor for what you're doing, for what you've done. And God, bless us. God, wash our mouth out. <laughs> we thank you, God, and we give you glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, good guys. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, First Lady. Y'all say good morning, Lady Karen. Good morning, Deacon Holmes. Good morning, Felicia. Good morning, Rachel Graham. Good morning, Chanel Little. Good morning, good morning, good guys. Good morning to y'all. Good guys, morning to y'all. Good morning, Sister Perry. Good morning, Kanina. Good morning, Sister Shelley. Good morning, Terrence. Good morning, Michelle Satcher. Good morning, good guys. Good morning to you. Good guys, good morning to you, everybody. I think I said hello to everyone. Good guys, morning to you. If I miss you, charge it to my phone because I can't see you and not my heart, okay? Good guys, morning to you. Listen, I want to say a very special happy birthday to my baby girl, our baby girl. Amen. Today is her birthday. It's a birthday, shawty. Hey, hey, hey. She is 11 year, years old today. Today is her birthday, so if you don't mind wishing her a happy birthday. She's having a birthday party, so if you're able to come, and, and I know at least the, the children of the church, for those parents who are on this morning, y'all come and celebrate with her today at 6.30, okay? Today at 6.30 at the Defy uh, Trampoline Party Park, okay? Trampoline Park, all right? So happy birthday to Sephora. Uh, today is her 11th birthday, and we'll be celebrating today at the Defy Trampoline Park at 6.30. 30 okay 6 30 all right all right so happy happy have a happy 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 wednesday listen we'll still have bible study tonight so don't think you're gonna get out of it those of you who are not going to the birthday party bible study will still be on okay so come let's hear the the other part of, of back to the basis today today we're going to be talking about um baptism uh by fire okay baptism by fire we're going to talk about that and explain what that means so come let's let's let's, let's celebrate support if you're coming if not we'll see you this afternoon at 6 30 for bible study all right refresh and refuel y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day this wednesday good morning uh nico Good guys, morning to you. I hope that's how you pronounce your name. Good guys, morning to you. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. The same time, same place for another good guys morning moment. All right? Good guys, morning to you. God bless you. Y'all have a good one. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. Want to build your faith, your faith. grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning.